was music to my ears. We have kind of an unofficial audience, so I know they wanted to break out in applause, but <laughs> this was so beautiful. Starting off the Voice of the Coast with yours truly. With me, we have Chief Warrant Officer Stephen Talbot with the Marine Forces Reserve Band, and I am ecstatic to have you here. Thank you very much for being here. Well, thanks so much for the kind invitation. Yes. Now, of course, this is not your very first time for being, but it's your very first time for being here, I guess, in the hot seat. Is it yes. the hot seat? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I guess I should acknowledge some of the previous band directors that have been here. So okay. um, just before I took over, uh, you know, it was Eric Kine and then Damaris Jackson, Mike Smith and Brian Sherlock. So some of my good friends uh, that I now have to live up to those high standards of excellence that they brought. But I will say each and every one that has been here that you guys have been very warm and welcoming, very nice and thank you very much. And I think I can, I'll remember you next time, right? <laughs> All right. So Stephen, um, you know, I ask anybody, anytime I hear a last name, say, oh, Talbot, where are you from? So where is home home? I know being in the military, you move out, move around a lot, but where is your birth home? Sure, so I grew up on Long Island, New York in a okay. town called Huntington. Okay. I did my full schooling there from kindergarten all the way through high school. Uh, and then after that, I went to the University of Buffalo, um, where I think they just got six feet of snow or something. Which, <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Yes, I don't remember it being quite that much when I was there. But um, yeah, now I'm here in beautiful New Orleans and today, beautiful Morgan City. Yes, well, thank you so much. And, and I got, you know, I want to ask a little bit about you. I mean, sure. I, I was telling you earlier, and I'll tell everyone, and I'll say, he has such a baby face, but you've been <laughs> in, in, in with the Marines for quite a number of years, right? Well, thank you. Um, <laughs> I think I have a baby face for radio, so it's <laughs> kind of exciting to be on TV here. Yes. Um, but yeah, I've been a, a Marine for 20 years now, so yes. first uh, enlisted in 2002, wow. which I can hardly believe. It's been yeah. that long. It's been such a fun, exciting ride. And where was your last tour? Uh, I was out in Hawaii before coming out here. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Hawaii. I, and look, you don't have to say it just because you're in Louisiana, but compare the two. I mean, Hawaii, Louisiana, what's, what would you say you, you loved about Hawaii and what do you love about Louisiana? Sure. Well, I think one of the first things is that the people of Hawaii and the people of New Orleans and Louisiana are just just so wonderful, and they're, they're so into their culture, mm -hmm. and that culture is everything from food to you know the different types of leisure activities, um, and definitely, 100%, absolutely, the music. Awesome, <laughs> that's right, and we love music here in, yes. in Morgan City, so we welcome you and your family. You, know, you have a, an 18-month-old and, of course, your wife, so we welcome you as well as the, the, the brass quintet that that's is with you and uh, we're here talking about Toys for Tots the concert which comes around every year we've been doing the coverage of this since about 2007 so wow. we're we're getting some years behind us as well and it's really one of the favorites for residents in this community they come out and they show out in droves and I say that because we kind of have this Un, really, I guess unknown, I don't know, maybe we know about it, but this rivalry with Slidell. We want to make sure that we have the most people go out to this concert, and you guys are actually kicking off the concert series in Slidell. That's right. Well, you kind of have the edge here because we are here in Morgan City today playing some Christmas music. So um, what's really wonderful is that we will be performing in Slidell, and then we'll be performing uh, here in Morgan City the very next day. Uh, and I just... Um, I think it's a really healthy competition that yeah, we have there here. there you go. I love it. I love it. Well, with that said, we're going to throw it back to the band. They're going to take us out the commercial. And we'll come right back and talk a little bit more about what's to come for the concert series.
each time we come back, I just cannot help myself. But thank you very much for joining us on The Voice of the Coast. I am here with Chief Warrant Officer Stephen Talbot, and I am your host, Danica Long. I am, again, very excited. I think music is such a universal language. You can go anywhere in the world and you hear music, and it's just a, another way of communicating. Would you agree? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Music has taken us so many places. We've performed all across the country from California to New York. We had a small group go down to Brazil recently. Oh, nice. And so truly music is a universal language. And, you know, one of the great things about Christmas music mm -hmm. is that it's so popular all around the world. And there's so many different arrangements yes. of uh, these great songs. We just heard Jingle Bells. And the music is, is so cherished by so many, and it really helps to connect yes. our band with the audience. Yes. Uh, we, we can play traditional arrangements, or we can play more contemporary, modern uh, arrangements as well. And so one of the things that we're really hoping people enjoy at our concert is that they, they're going to recognize everything. Yes but it might not be in the way that they expect, which okay. is gonna be a lot of fun. Yes, so you know, with every conductor or director, they bring their own style. So can I ask you just a little sneak peek, what's the theme or what's your style gonna be like? Sure, so I, I think it's important that we always bring the hallmark of the Marine Corps mm -hmm. and those traits, those leadership traits that all Marines possess and that we really uh, embody that and show those traits through our music and so, I think the audience is going to really enjoy that we're going to be true to our roots mm -hmm. and that we're going to honor uh, our, those servicemen and women that came before us. We're going to honor uh, the citizens of our great country and the support that they have for us. Uh, and we're going to play some traditional music that they're going to really like. And then we're going to bring some a uh, holiday flavor yeah. that's going to really tie everything up nicely. Now, speaking of that, I mean, when you think of a Marine, I mean, you think of someone who's very poised, just a staunch appearance. But I know at going to these concerts, you guys like to have fun. You get very interactive with the crowd, and the kids really love it. That's what it's all about. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. It, it's the spirit of giving, uh, the season of giving, and, and the spirit of the holidays. We, we really want to embody that. And interacting with our audience is such an important part of that process and the children. The future of our country mm -hmm. is so bright with our children and seeing their eyes light up when they see an instrument that they maybe mm -hmm. haven't heard or seen before or we play a song that they recognize or maybe a big man in a suit shows yeah. up with something Ooh, sweet for them. Yes. It, those are the things that they really enjoy. Now we've been talking a lot about the concert itself but I definitely want to make mention that it is free to the public. However, we are encouraging that you bring a, an, an unwrapped, a new unwrapped toy and just come out and have a great time with the band. And it is going to be at Morgan City Auditorium on December 8th at 7 p.m. And we're going to throw it right back to the band. Welcome back to the Voice of the Coast. How are they doing? I think they're doing great, but you're <laughs> the one with the trained ear, so how are they doing? Oh, they inspire me every day. They're amazing. Oh, Absolutely. this is wonderful. And you wake up every morning to do this. 
This is your your job. I can hardly believe it. <laughs> right. This is awesome. And I, I asked you earlier about be, being in the band, you know, band people. You guys are just extraordinary individuals. Is it like a family? It is. And, uh, you know, we were talking earlier that being uh, musicians, we all have that shared commonality. But really, it's it all comes down to being Marines yeah. and that, that pride of belonging to something bigger than ourselves. Mm -hmm. As Marine musicians, we have this pride of being musical ambassadors where we we get to represent not only the active Marines of today, but those that have come before us. Yes. And we also get to inspire the future uh, service members of our country. So, you know, it's a, it's a role and a responsibility that we really take great pride in having. Now, if you want a piece of this action, now make sure to be out there. It's on Thursday, December 8th at Morgan City Auditorium at 7 p.m. And look, I guarantee you guys are going to be sharp on time. <laughs> so it is free to attend, but we are encouraging you to bring a new unwrapped toy because that's pretty much what Toys for Tots is all about. So I want to ask you a question. What is your favorite song to play? My favorite song to play? Yes. Well, you when know, it comes to Christmas, that is a Christmas song. Well, I, I still think this is a Christmas answer because Santa and I have the same favorite song. Oh. And it's the Marines hymn. Come on, okay. And every year, you get no brownie points for this, just so you know. Oh, okay. I know. But All every, right. Every year, <laughs> Santa comes down my chimney mm -hmm. and he eats, he eats the uh, cookies, drinks the milk, and he leaves me a little note that says, thanks for playing the hymn. And so okay. uh, we're going to continue that tradition for sure. Love it, love it. Now, what is where is your favorite place to play? Now, you've never played, well, you have played in Morgan City, right? But that's okay. Sure. We're going to scratch that. That's okay. What's your favorite place to play, perform? I just like playing outside anywhere, mm -hmm. you know, because you can, you can have an audience that knows you're performing, but oftentimes when we're playing outside, there's people that are walking by that maybe didn't know that the performance was happening and they catch it and they're able to come over and be a part of the performance. Uh, so yeah, I love anytime we can play outside. Mm -hmm. Well, is there an, a, a specific location also that you, that you enjoy performing? Well, we really love playing in downtown New okay. Orleans. Okay. I mean, oh. we just have, there's so much foot traffic and people mm -hmm. are just walking around enjoying the uh, historic sites of the city. Yeah. And you really feel a part of that culture. I mean, yeah. there's music on every corner oh, yeah. and it's all just amazing. So that's definitely a favorite. So of course you, you play during the Christmas season, but then of course there are other holidays. Uh, you mentioned New Orleans, Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras, yes. Yes, that's pretty interesting, I'm sure, for you. Yeah, Mardi Gras is going to be amazing, as it yeah. is every year. Uh, this will be my first Mardi Gras season, and uh -huh. we've received dozens of requests to march in the different parades for all the different crews, and I know the Marines are really, really excited to be a part of it, and uh, that'll be coming up here shortly, early next year. Awesome. Well, thank you again, Chief Warrant Officer. Stephen Talbot, thank you very much for being here. And hopefully we we can see you guys on December 8th. So come on out. It's free. Again, we encourage you to bring a, a new unwrapped toy. So enough talking from us. Let's get back to the band. Great. Welcome back to the Voice of the Coast. Again, my guest is Chief Warrant Officer Stephen Talbot with the Marine Forces Reserve Band. And we are gearing up for Thursday, December 8th, the Morgan City Auditorium. Come on out for the Toys for Tots concert. It's going to be great every year. I mean, it is just like a favorite around here in this community. And we have folks not just in Morgan City. They travel because this is one of the, the closest locations because I believe you're going to be performing in Slidell, right, which is our rival right we want to make sure that we knock their socks off with our performance and you'll be going there on december 7th and then traveling back down here um so I, but you know i know you're the conductor or director but what is your instrument of choice so i grew up as a trombone instrumentalist okay yeah, yes I, I learned when i was about nine years old i stuck with it all the way through middle school and high school i played a little bit in college and then in uh, 2002 i took an audition for the marine bands and uh, i was 
fortunate enough to be selected. Now you're in New Orleans and they got Trombone Shorty. Have oh you goodness. met Trombone Shorty? I mean, I mean that's the music, that's Brass City. I have not had the honor oh, of, of meeting him. Okay. Um, if, I know he's watching, so please come and visit. <laughs> and uh, I'd love to sit in and, and yeah. have you sit in with our, with our group. Uh, yeah, there's so, ma so many. Big Sam, Trombone oh, Shorty. Yes. They're just yes. some of my heroes, really. Yeah. Now, I didn't tell you that, but that's home for me. So when you mentioned some of those names, I'm like, yeah, yeah, you got the Hot 8 band. Look, don't get me started. No. They know I like to dance out here. So, uh, so thank you very much. We really do appreciate you guys coming out here. We can't wait to see you in concert. So we're going to give you guys at home a little bit more than just a snippet. They're going to play a full song. So again, thank you very much for being out and enjoy. Thank you for joining us on KWBJ TV 22. Subscribe to us on Facebook. Ciao.